Okay, real quick, I'm going to just show you how to plug in um, this type of an interface. When you first get started uh, making music and tracking it, you'll this is probably the type of interface that you'll be using, something like the Apogee Duet, something that's kind of smaller, less expensive, and you probably will only need a couple inputs and outputs on this. So right now I'm just going to show you kind of the basic function of this and how to plug in this and other type of interfaces that are going to be similar to this. As you'll notice, there's no place to plug in a microphone if you just look at it here. But what they do is they ship it with these cables here, these little breakout cables. And so what you can do is you can plug in this guy right here, right to the top. Then, a voila you have inputs and outputs. So right here, um, you probably can't read the lettering on top of this, but basically it just says in one and in two. And as you can see, you can plug in XLR cables if you're using a microphone. But what's cool about these is if you're gonna be plugging in like a guitar or keyboard, you can actually just put the quarter inch cables right in the middle of these things. And then as we talked about earlier, how you can select either mic or line inputs, then all you need to do is tell the duet if you're using the XLRs with a mic or the quarter inches with a line input. And down here we have our outputs. And so what's nice about these is this just has quarter inch output jacks that you can run um, speaker cables to your monitors. So this is how you can listen to it. So you have your two inputs and then your left and right speaker. And then if you look down here most interfaces will have either one or two headphone um, jacks so that if, even if you're not using speakers or you, you haven't put monitors in your room or something like that, you can actually use headphones to monitor what you're doing with something like this. And then the last cable that we obviously would need for this is to have it communicate with our computer. Right here, I'm just going to plug in. It's just a little USB guy that won't go in. Fantastic. And then just your typical USB end on the other end. And what's really great about these types of kind of smaller interfaces is most of them are bus powered. And what I mean by bus powered is all you need to do is plug in the USB to your computer and it powers the interface itself by just plugging it into your computer. You don't have to plug in any sort of external power um, supply to the interface. Now, with bigger interfaces like my Apollo that we talked about earlier, that one you do have to plug into the wall, and that one is actually connected to my computer through a Thunderbolt cable. So different interfaces, you plug them in differently to your computer. For me, I like the Thunderbolt ones just because I feel like it's a little bit more stable, but I actually love using the Duet, especially when I'm out on the road and just need something that's really small and reliable and portable. So that's how to connect your interface.